been a huge day here at the 3050 Summit in Abu Dhabi. Earlier on Morning Joe, you saw my live conversation uh, co-moderated. I had a new co-host, actually. I know, but I yes. mean, again, you're trading up big time. Yeah, it was Secretary yeah. of State Hillary Clinton, yeah, exactly. former Secretary of State, along with Ukraine's First Lady Olena Zelenska, tennis legend Billie Jean King, and activist and journalist Gloria Steinem. And we have had many other game-changing conversations throughout the day with over 500 women from 50 different countries. Take a look. I understand what it is to have people look at me and see themselves because that's been me for so many years looking up to so many uh, incredible black and brown women. We wanted to create a community. Um, we wanted to create a club, so to speak, a professional club of first ladies and gentlemen. And um, actually, uh, it was a very good idea because we wanted to do humanitarian projects. But even um, on the first day after the war had started, um, many of them showed their support. They showed that they were a powerful force and they reacted even faster than some governments and presidents. I have two young girls and a son. Um, and it's just so my my intention and and and. And my drive comes from a place of wanting to, you know, level the playing field for them. And I say level the playing field, but really, I think it's building our own field. Let your work just be part of your life and, and surround yourself with good people, if you're lucky. And just be grateful. Be grateful for my mom would say, be grateful every day you wake up. I was an actress and, you know, why not be able to wear that red lip or put my face on if I want to? And I shouldn't have to be concerned about what it would do to my health. And certainly anything in, on, or around my baby, I wanted to ensure that she was going to be safe. There is still a lot that um, we can learn, keying off of what Billy said, about the opportunities that women have in every single walk of life, every single kind of setting, uh, to not only speak up for themselves, but also for other women. And I really wanna underscore that, because too often, it's a lonely time when you're the only woman, or you are a woman who is in a position of having to speak up or uh, try to make, uh, make a point. Uh, in a not very friendly uh, atmosphere. So joining us now, vice chair of the 3050 Summit, Huma Abedin, and editor of Forbes Women, Maggie McGrath. Uh, great team, guys, uh, put this together with me, and it's been an incredible event. So let's talk about what you guys have been doing today, because we ran my conversation live on Morning Joe, so our viewers know what happened there. But you talked to Misty Copeland this morning. That was amazing. Tell us about it. You know, Misty Copeland is gave us a masterclass in breaking barriers. And beyond that, I think one of the things that we learned today is that she's a woman who reached her art to such a, a sort of historic height and decided that it wasn't enough, that she was going to do more to give back. She's launched a foundation. She's got a program to bring uh, uh, ballet and dance into schools. Um, and, you know, one of the things that really um, struck me, Mika, about what she said is that she feels the weight of the responsibility of being the first in her field and that she carries that on her shoulder. And the book that she's mostly recently written about mentorship, her own mentor, Raven Wilkinson, mm -hmm. that she discovered only after she met her, lived right down the street. They were actually neighbors and that she was able to spend some quality time with her, but that she really feels like she's in that stage of life where she needs to give back. And Giving boy, back. does she inspire us. That's a lot of what this summit is about, Maggie. Um, and you had an amazing discussion today, given our 50 over 50 lists and the success of these lists going global immediately, because there are so many incredible women doing amazing things well after the age of 50, you had an incredible discussion about embracing aging. Embracing aging. I talked to Joanne Jenkins. She is the CEO of AARP. She was on our inaugural 50 over 50 list in 2021. She told me that by 20... 50. The number of women over the age of 50 around the world will double. Now, that's a staggering statistic on its own, but all throughout the day, we've been talking about the pay gap, right? We have new data that shows it'll take 250 years to achieve pay equity around the world. Why does all of this matter? When you pay women less, 
they save less, they invest less. It drives the wealth gap. It drives the spending gap. Think about all those women turning 50 by 2050 and their spending power. It will be diminished. That hurts GDPs. So when you invest in women, you invest in economic growth. Love that. And there was such a great conversation today and there's still so much more. We're going to talk about tomorrow in just a second, but but first, tonight we're headed to the Louvre in Abu Dhabi, yep. and we're going to have an incredible awards ceremony. But tell us, give us a little preview. Well, you know, the, the conversation that we carried live showed us what leadership and icons are and have, you know, can be and have done and continue to do. And we're taking the opportunity to really honor them. So Hillary Clinton, who got the award last year, is presenting the Lifetime Achievement um, Award uh, to Gloria Steinem. And just having her presence here with us today, I mean, the young women, to walk into a room and women from all over the world, Poland and Trinidad, Tobago, to see Gloria Steinem, a champion for uh, women's rights and activist for decades, uh, was really inspiring. So she'll uh, receive that award. Um, Billie Jean King, um, I blew us all away and she's going to be great. my goodness. And, uh, and she's going to get the, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the know your value award because she Love is it. somebody in the way you like to tell people, to, uh, women to know their value. She certainly has walked that walk. And finally the torture freedom award, which is going to, um, the first lady of Ukraine, uh, Elena Zelenska. And I think anybody who watched her today, could not help but see base, uh, an icon. Yes, absolutely. And tomorrow we'll have you back because we're going to have to go, but we're going to be really quickly uh, doing a lot of work a lot of on mentoring, the ground. A lot of mentoring. Today, tomorrow's a day about connection. People are going to be one-on-one -on -one mentoring all over this, this location. There's going to be a town hall with you and me and four of our speakers today, Mo Abadou, Nazanin Vandiani, Mandana Dayani, and Catherine O'Hara, because today's programming was so packed, people couldn't ask questions. So we're going to start the mentoring with people peppering our I panelists love it. with questions about careers and advice and all that good and stuff. And you'll join me for that, right? I will do okay. that. Okay. And, and, and by the way, I, you know, this has been a dream of Mika's for a long time, and she's been doing Know Your Value for a long time. I know you all have been in the middle of this for the past year. Thank you. It's just extraordinary what we all saw today here. This this really is a history-making event. And when Forbes was saying the greatest gathering, global gathering of women ever. I kind of thought you might be you're like, okay, maybe that. <laughs> no, but no, it was. actually accurate. <laughs> and when you looked across that stage, you talked about Gloria Steinem. And next to her was Elena Zelenska and Billie Jean King and Hillary Clinton, and she sat in the middle and you could actually see this woman who's doing extraordinary things. She was just taking it all in, the history uh, that, that was surrounding her. Yeah, I, I had a hard time. I was almost cried at one point. <laughs> so that, it was a big day. And more to come tomorrow. Maggie McGrath, Huma Abedin, thank you both. Really, incredible job. Just uh, incredible. And for all the latest on the 3050 Summit, you can check out all of our social media and head over to knowyourvalue.com and Forbes.com.